Hello and welcome, welcome, welcome. 1285, our toughest match yet. We are playing Mechabellum as an average Joe, uh, waiting for our opponent to load because our load times are sick. They are so good. Um, let's see. Quick supply is nice. Aerial pivots are nice. I also like that there's kind of chaff fortified. Man, tarantulas are cool, aren't they? Aren't tarantulas cool? Rhino with uh, crawlers and missiles, man. Missiles do work. I'm kind of between these. Let's just do the uh, tarantula happy days. They're pretty tanky boys. Um, missile launchers. I want one squad of marksmen just because you never know. The fact that they have Typhoon Specialist coming in is a bit disappointing, quite frankly. So one, two, three, four, missiles, missiles. Yeah, I don't know. Without being a speed specialist, I'm very concerned about this one. Because closing the gap with our tarantulas and stuff is what's really going to be important. We do have HP, which allows our crawlers to tank a lot more shots. Which is nice. And he doesn't have a huge amount of like anti-individuals, but these... Missile launchers, right? Like, look at this. Pew, pew, pew. Absolutely devastating. But we have speed on our side. I don't know how much that's going to mean for us, but the fact that two crawlers got through is pretty actually compelling. We might lose our tower here, but with speed on our side, I don't think they turn around and kill us very quickly. These missiles are a bit annoying, though, I will say. But pew, 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 eats them up. And we're in. So here, armor is less important to me than mechanical rage, for instance. Or, you could always go with the mines, but, you know. Uh, I think Farseer is just a goaded unit. You could always get range enhancement on it and other things, but... That's just kind of how it is. We'll throw you down in here with the hope that you do some nasty. And then perhaps we just shore up the flank a little bit more. Unlock arc lights. I don't know if it would have been worth promoting this guy. Okay, he's going... Now, I forgot. He is Typhoon, so... Getting armor will be really sick for us because the Typhoons will just brap, brap, brap right into the Tarantulas, and that's going to be fine. And clearly, this is enough to punch right into their base. This one marksman does more than you think, I promise. Um, so these, these units are pretty tanky. And then, yeah, speed is on our side. They're debuffed. We are killing their units. Unfortunately, oh, no, we're fine. And then the debuff is going to happen again at, like, basically the perfect time. It doesn't matter that we're debuffed when we're just killing a bunch of fangs. Um, yeah, so they have the, they have the typhoons now. We go armor into this for sure. I even think we get a typhoon over here. I just, what I hate, what do I hate? I hate a lot of things. I'm gonna take a loan because I wanna be able to deploy two units and I want some of these units to be right here. Because I would love for the, these missiles to get a little bit messed up. I want you to be strong. 
you to be strong and um honestly being tankier is a bigger ratio so see this here he thinks he's about to delete my whole side but i put an armored tarantula here for that reason and then he went range and again i have an armored guy there this missile is a little frustrating but at least his shots are still on nothing so look at this absolutely sorry bro sorry bro and then i mean he can almost get anti-technology which would be nasty for me don't get me wrong um but again this is the weak side right like hell yeah that's his missile launcher though what what that's not good he's not a lot of super tanky units so i wonder if the tarantula is still going for something like mechanical rage just gives us the speed to actually exploit those weaknesses alternatively we can get our uh range improvement for our friends alternatively we can get photon emission for less damage like there's a lot in here for us subsidized crawler saves us like 50 bucks if he buys a battleship or a mobilized bat like these are nasty basically is what i'm getting at he doesn't really have anti-air so i think you can freely throw this down like over here he does in the in the farseer but do i have to take another loan i kind of do if i want to be able to uh deploy things um i wouldn't mind throwing down a couple of snipers he could get the uh the airship dude but honestly i'm doing this because i'm expecting i want them to target the same one first um yeah i don't know what he's gonna get he went for a hacker fair enough fair enough hacker's a good call actually i was thinking about taking the anti-interference thing earlier so this is the hacker I'm worried about. Again, going into like overlords might be like just genuinely the right call um, because he doesn't really have anti-air. Again, he just has the ground units doing whatever they want. And hacker is gonna make that even more uh, true. We keep taking loans though, which means that we don't have like the financial flexibility to do anything else. Again, though, is the is the solution to go for range on our laddies here? Could be. Don't let them flip. Nice. Yeah. Alternatively, maybe we can't afford that, so we just go for, like, um, some Phoenix. I don't know. The Overlord's right here. I guess I'll just take the Overlord. If it's going to be offered for free, we should take it. Um, but I want it to go over here. I didn't look long enough at the other things that they had potentially bought, that they could potentially buy. He could always flank over here, right? That's kind of what I'm worried about now. So give me like one more crawler over here. I don't know what he's going to do. Okay, he's going extended range. I don't... I like hate that. And he, he also went for the... He went for the airship. But his has uh, regeneration on it, which is a bit nasty. It's good that we have two. But not being able to kill his hacker was a big problem. Oh, but we killed his airship first, and it looks like we're targeting his anti-air. Oh, that's super tragic for him, quite frankly. Uh, the fact that they're... Oh, wow, look at this turn speed being just terrible for us. 
Uh, it might not matter though. Depends on if our overlord ever decides to shoot this way instead. Would be great if, you know. Oh, okay. Um, do we want to take... Less damage though, does that apply? Efficient research. Hmm. Hook me up with some damage. Hook me up with an anti-missile launcher. Alone. Give me one of these. I would like you to shoot backwards. And I can't upgrade either of those. So sure. Okay, he's getting more. Oh, he got an anti air specialty. Oh, nasty. I really wanted him to shoot my armored lad, but that didn't happen. Good thing we have all these crawlers streaming in ever so slowly. Yo, the self-repair is nothing against a uh, high level, high level overlord, baby. This is a little nasty, I will admit. Um, the timing is really terrible, but hey, we're still shooting out a lot of missiles on this one side. See this like missile shooting down? It's kind of nice. The fact that he's stealing my snipers, though, is, like, so uncool. <laughs> I'm so not into it. Um, but it's kind of fine. Oh, he has this sniper here. Okay. Well, we're doing decent damage, thankfully. Oh, no. Don't kill that. Don't kill that. I want that. <laughs> nice. So our $100 investment did get to continue. Uh, advanced targeting systems. I mean, we gotta. I mean, the range. Oh my god. Alright, we rank all these up. Do I take another loan? I have to. This is terrible. This is one of the most terrible runs ever. But I need to stand here and eat this guy's machine gun fire. Like, it's, it's just like a must. Um, more snipers, honestly, would be lovely. And I would love to keep getting other things too. I mean, he's probably gonna bombardment, right? That's what I was expecting. But I think that's like kind of okay. Like we're gonna undo this side. He's trying to scale up. We have 50% damage reduction on a portion of this army. He in the past has bought like missile launchers here. So I don't feel too badly. And again, anti-air specialty, is that what's Actually, that's going to mess me up again, isn't it? Okay, well. Yeah, this level 3 hacker is pretty nasty. Here we are going. We did, for the longest time there, we were surviving with our anti-missile launcher. Kill his airship, please. Thank you. That pretty much puts us in a spot to succeed, I believe. It's if we kill this thing here, right? Mm, okay, this timing might not work out as well as I thought it was going to. Because we did not kill the anti-air. Okay, well, we took damage. We didn't get a perfect win. And we're under threat because he's got so much good stuff. Absorption module. Increase speed by five. I wonder if like that on our fuck. Like, I know this is cool, but like our unit is kind of alive. 
Do you buy range? Doesn't really need it. These units here would survive longer before being hacked, but I don't know that that actually helps me so much. What if I just gave everyone a range bonus? You know, a range bonus here. He had artillery that round, right? We buy another one of these cutie anti-missile things. We call in an airship behind him. Then we buy a missile here. Let's see what happens. He bought a shield. Honestly, that's a pretty great pick for him. A shield generator on his units. Now, what he didn't realize is that I was going to blow up his freaking base. Alright, with the base dead. On that flank, at least. That should be GG, right? Like, just deploy the, the warship on your back flank. I mean, it's such a good freaking tool. And now we have, like, extended range because of our Farseer. We got a bunch of level 5 overlords. Like, you're just being... All your base are belonging to us. I think is... Uh, is the way to think about it. I mean, again, highest elo person we've played. 1285. Return to lobby. What does it say? I mean, I think we just played a solid game. We saw that he had a huge hacker threat and he also had typhoons to clear chaff so without chaff as a counter for hackers and with medium-sized units being stolen from us we just pushed ourselves up into the air and gave ourselves some range to keep it back and we kept single target shooters like snipers at our back line to kill the units that they were hacking over so i think that worked out really well actually it was like uh, the russian like propaganda against them in world war ii is the whole not one step back or your own units will shoot you kind of thing which again you know enemy at the gates popularized did it actually happen yes at what scale was it prolific uh you know is that just a story the allies made up to make the communists look bad because communism bad look man i'm playing mechabellum here i don't know we, we got a little bit of MMR. I hope you enjoy. I'll see you next time. No, ciao for now.